Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. We're back with our Let's Play franchise mode, pre-recorded when we still had the beta, just to make sure you guys all are aware of this. But, oh my god, we are having so many animals. We don't have any babies except for the pronghorn and, of course, the black bear we added in the previous episode, which I kind of cheated because I just really wanted to move over that little baby bear to this park so hopefully you guys like that oh yeah we have another pronghorn being pregnant great <laughs> they make so many babies it's just it's nuts it's seriously nuts let's have a look if we have all the right animals moved now this one is pregnant so we're just gonna keep that one for now but as soon as the baby has been born we're going to trade with that pronghorn i'm afraid grizzly bear is still not pregnant i i keep checking them but if I don't get a message here it should be that they are not pregnant so I just really hope we will see some babies very very soon we do have some really cute tapers over here that are also not pregnant still but I wonder if we already did enough research for them to change their food and stuff so we can hopefully make it a little bit better in our habitat Let's have a look. Okay, great two quality. So we're gonna change that here too. And we're just going to click all the habitats real quick to see if we can upgrade more. Oh God, you guys are mating, aren't you? I think you are. I have the feeling if they stand like this, but then you still have like the chance. So it could be that nothing happens. And then if they try it again, it will happen. But it just looks so adorable. Let's have a look if we can upgrade the food in this habitat. Oh, grade three. Okay, perfect. Let's change that to grade three food. And have a look at our bears because maybe we can change it here too. Our money is going really well. Even though we lost some money, I'm not sure if I did... Yeah, I did some construction, so that is probably because it's red right now. But that's gonna be fine. We're gonna add this one to a grade 2 food quality. We have the tortoise right over here. We can also change it, hopefully, in the tortoise habitat. Oh, grade 3 already? Perfect. Our research is doing really well. Let's have a look at the wolves, because maybe we did enough research for the wolves too to change it. Yes, we did. Grade 2 food quality here. I'm not really sure if we did enough research for the black bear, but who knows? Grade 2? No, it's only a grade 1 still. So we did change it. I did change it, right? Yeah, grade 2. So we just keep doing some research and make our warthogs happy and give them also a great 2 quality food. I think we've got them all. So we just have to let the game run for a bit and we will just build another habitat for some awesome animal. Which I'm really curious what kind of animal we will see next. So let's go to the animal market. We might want to go for a buffalo or something like that. I haven't played around with the buffaloes yet. I don't know if they need like a super big habitat. 420, that's not even that bad. They do want to swim a little bit. That's very good to know and it has to be higher than 1.25 meters with a grade 3 fencing. So let's go for some African buffaloes and I'm going to select only these species and hopefully we can get one or two. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, Frontier Zoo. Okay, I'm gonna get you. And we did get a few conservation points but I'm not really sure if this is enough. Like we're, we're, we're pretending that this is a low amount because well, I can't do anything with my conservation credits, of course, at this stage because I have two other parks running right now and you share those conservation credits, so I'm not going to spend too much on it. I do want to know how many... Oh my goodness, that's a big herd. Oh, yikes. Okay, I didn't realize that. 8 to 5, 8 to 12, up to 1 males, up to 12 females. I'm, I'm just going to trade two and let's see if they are happy or not, I have no idea. So African Buffalo, there is, oh, there are more with prices now. 
Let's select it only on pricing because I did see a few more. Wait a second. I did see them. Did they just? God. Oh my god. Someone is super quick with like getting those buffaloes. Are there any? Oh no, they're not. Oh gosh. Okay, this is going to be hard. This is going to be challenging, but I like that. I like a little bit of challenge. We're just going to start with a habitat for them. And as you can see, I did just lay down some path right over here. Nothing really special, but just so we can continue with our habitats. And I think we can have a bigger habitat for those buffaloes. I do like that, but we can also just split this one into two habitats. It just depends a little bit how big it should be and how big this space will be. So we need a minimum of grade three. So both of them are totally fine. So this habitat is already more than 2000 cubic meters. So honestly, I don't really feel like we should get another one, but we just have to wait and see because they, if they really need eight for them to be happy or a minimum of eight, then we might want to look into that and just expand the whole area. It depends how big it has to be with more animals in there. So we have a bit of issues with our tapir. And well, the plans, as I said, if everything here is green on the welfare, then it's all good. But something is not right right now. So that is mostly due to the cleanliness and the last meal quality. Well, as soon as we can upgrade this again. So we now have the quality two, but maybe we can hopefully soon get the quality three. We're going to call a keeper just to make sure that there will be food in this habitat really soon and also to clean it up because hey these guys poop a lot and pooping makes sure that the habitat isn't clean enough so we definitely need a keeper to clean this habitat and there is already one keeper on its way oh you're bringing food amazing you were already on it i'm so proud of you who are you i'm so proud of you imori biggs Seriously, well done. So what are you gonna, why are you putting that on the floor? Are you serious? That doesn't make any sense to me at all. Move this one. Wait, wait I'm gonna replace it just to be sure because I have the feeling something is off and it might have something to do with me putting it down. Get a medium size in and I wanna flatten the terrain just to make sure that we can put it down and it will be connected to the ground and I don't think oh it can't really do that because of the terrain forming on that side how about we move you I'm going to move you to here and I'm gonna make this a little bit lower just for you to cool down and I'm going to move the feeder over here if that is possible I think it is and we're going to move this one here just to be sure that there's no obstruction in their path or anything like that but i really want the keeper to just fill this feeding bowl instead of putting it on the ground i mean that is not what we want in our zoo right let's have a look real quick to see if we can get these african buffaloes again i do see one with money which is good perfect okay we have a lot of females uh i did got like really bad genes and let's get this one and now we oh if there's only one male let's let's get them all and to make sure that not all of them can get babies i think that will be fine we now have four if i remember correctly yeah so we have four now a minimum of eight but i'm already going to add them in this habitat just to see how much space they need so if we need to expand it then we will be good to go and go to move these buffaloes and I'm so curious if they need way more space when you have more of them in here. The last one to here too. And let's wait for them. I'm really curious. This is the first time I ever see them in the game. So I haven't seen them at games come behind closed doors. I haven't seen them during our live streams. Not a single moment. So I'm really excited for that. Oh, oh, look, look, look. They're making babies. Oh, that's so cute. But yeah, Tanner has so many scars because he has been fighting with a lot of other pronghorns. So it's really not 
we don't want this pronghorn to stay in here because they keep fighting and we don't want that. So hopefully, I'm not sure, you are probably doing some research or you're gonna take... Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have the buffaloes in here, guys. Oh my gosh, you are so beautiful. You're running around. Wow. Oh, I can't wait to see babies of the buffaloes. You are absolutely stunning. And you're just running around. I'm so sorry. You don't have food. You don't have anything. You're you're thirsty. You want some water. So let's give them a nice habitat and see them moving around in their habitat to have some fun. So we've built this habitat and the thing is with these buffaloes is that they don't need a shelter. So they don't need a hard shelter, which is actually really neat because we don't really have to put something down. But then again, I feel like we can have some kind of overhanging here for them to rest. I do feel I want to do something like that because I think they would definitely like that. But so far, everything is turning really well for these animals. They don't need that much space. We only, of course, need to make sure they get some food in and stuff because that is going to be an issue if we don't take care of that. Let's add one over here too. And then add a toy. They like the balls, so we definitely go to add two of these because we're gonna have a lot of them. So we do need to make sure that these guys also have a water pump connected because that will be an issue. Perfect. That is pretty neat. So they actually don't really need a water pump. I always tend to add them, but it's not really necessary. Nothing is really changing here. It's still 420 cubic meters. So I'm really happy with that. So let's just have a look if we can add another. Of oh, it's playing with its toy. <gasps> Look how cute! It's also playing with it! Oh my god, that is so adorable. You're so cute, you're so pretty! <laughs> Let's see if we can add a male friend for you guys. That would be so amazing. Are there any? No? Okay, what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna change this to male and see if we can get a cheap one with good stats. 600 is... The longevity is not really good, but 620, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just going to do it, guys. Did we miss any notifications? So the buffaloes arrived. New animals, new animals. Okay, no pregnancy still, but I still have hope. I still have hope that it will change. We do need to do some research for these lovely creatures, and we also need to make sure that the right animals will get their contraception because how much offspring do they get? Is that like a lot? I don't think so. Probably one. Okay, so one. So we're gonna have two female ladies. <gasps> there he is! Hello, beauty! Hopefully you can bring us some buffalo babies. I hope you will. You're so adorable. You're so fluffy. 
You're definitely fluffy. So I'm going to check. Compare mates. And so we have the father over here, that's Yaya. And then we can get Mandisa, which is pretty okay, I guess. Zalika is a shorter longevity gene potential. Namona also is... Oh wait, we can also see the chances, right? So Mandisa is definitely the highest chance at this point. Also Sak... Sakelaga, but Sakelaga has a very long, long, dig long live D2, so I'm not sure if we want to do that. So I think we want to go for Medisa for sure, and then go for Namona. So Zalika and Zekelaja will get contraception if we are on time, I think so. Uh -huh. <laughs> Zalika and Zekelaja, right? I hope I did that right. We're probably going to do some kind of shelter right over here, even though they don't need it. They're probably like mud beds or anything like that. That would be really cool to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to subscribe, of course, if you already haven't. And leave a like at the video if you enjoyed. And I really hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.